Hello friends and welcome back or to Willem Bunny. Today I'll be wrapping up my February reads and beginning with the stats. I read 12 books in total this month in which equals to 4,115 pages. In terms of format I read 11 of those physically and one of those via audiobook. Then for genres read I read 2 fantasy adult, 4 fantasy YA, 1 horror, 2 romance, 1 non-fiction, 1 classic and then 1 contemporary. In terms of how I rated them, I rated 2 3 stars, 4 3.5 stars, 3 4 stars and 3 4.5 stars. So with the stats out the way, let's get to the wrap up portion of this video. I'm going to list them in lowest to highest rated. So let's begin with my 3 star reads. First book in which I rated 3 stars is The Hitman by Karina Jackson. This is a mafia romance which has a lot of drama, a bit of action and is based on vacation. It was really interesting, fast paced and I did enjoy it. It's not my favourite mafia read and it's not too heavy on the mafia but if any of those concepts sound interesting to you then I recommend you pick that one up. The second book in which I rated three stars this month was The Whispering Dark. This had death representation, student teacher, relationship with an undercurrent of romance flowing throughout the book, horror elements and mystery packed in there. It had a spooky boarding school atmosphere and the underlying current of never knowing key to trust. So if any of those concepts that sounds interesting to you then I recommend The Whispering Dark. Moving on to my 3.5 star reads. The first one is The Coldest Touch. This had lesbian vampire relationship representation. It was really fun, quite light-hearted and our main character can see all of her family's and friends' deaths. Anyone she touched she can see their death. So in that aspect it wasn't that fun and that light-hearted but the writing was very fast-paced and the whole concept made it more light-hearted and it had that fantasy element with it being paranormal and vampires included in there with a whole host of other paranormal elements. Moving on to the next one which I rated 3.5 stars. I'm not going to dwell on this one too much as it is Things We Say in the Dark and which is a horror short stories. I don't want to give too much away as they are all short stories so they pack a punch in their own right and giving too much away will take away from the magic of you reading them. They were so interesting and I'm really beginning to love Kirstie Logan's writing style. I picked up Now She Is Witch because I really enjoy things we say in the dark. I recommend this one if you love horror short stories and the sort of alternative magical realism element of them. I really enjoyed this one, it was so much fun, I really recommend it. The next reading which I rated 3.5 stars is a non-fiction which is greedy. This has essays on understanding bisexuality and identity as a whole. It has that edge of rawness and rawness because of the topics covered and I really enjoyed it. It was definitely a really interesting take on bisexuality, discovering identity and just understanding yourself as a whole. Then the final book I rated 3.5 stars this month was Vladimir. This is about an older woman professor who has an infatuation with this new young fresh professor and it's also talking about how her husband has relationships, consensual relationships with um, students and how there is that sort of moral aspect of it is although it was consensual, was it actually consensual in the mind because of how young they were. All of that is talked through within this book as well so please do bear that in mind if you're going into this. It speaks about broken marriages and also the concept of grass is greener on the other side of constantly striving after what you think you want and then when you get it you're not quite sure that this is exactly what you hoped or envisioned or dreamed of. It was a really interesting read and it definitely gave me a lot to think about. It had the unhinged female protagonist kind of coursing throughout its veins when I was reading this. I do quite love protagonist who is unhinged um, but it was a very interesting read and I do recommend Next, going on to my four star reads. The first one is I Captured the Castle. I have spoken about this in my previous vlog as I read it for the 24 hour readathon that I did. I really enjoyed this one. It has a journal style writing in which I really enjoyed and it brought me back to understanding that I really do enjoy more historical journal style writing. It has quite a lot of character development and sort of explores the idea of growing up and expectations of you from society, from a historical point of view and not conforming to them and standing within your own right. It has such a beautiful atmosphere of living in a castle and being a poor family in the countryside historically. It has hope of romance and life lessons packed in there as well and I definitely recommend. The last book I rated four stars is Wild is the Witch. It's about animal connectivity through magic, moves the lovers and forced proximity romance woven into this. It has really easy writing, very digestible and because I really enjoyed this book that's what made me pick up Rachel Griffin's other book, The Nature of Witches. 
I love both of these. I really enjoy Rachel Griffin's writing style. I find it so digestible, so easy to get through, but so fun, enjoyable, and just a lot of lighthearted fun at the same time. And the books in which I rated 4.5 stars, the first one is Half a Soul. I'd heard so much good things about this one, and it definitely didn't disappoint. It had the historical kind of romance aspect woven into it that you will have seen a trend throughout this video because I've been really enjoying that recently. But it also did have a twist of... Um, um, fairies and magic and fae involved in which I was not anticipating nor expecting and found that the author really really wove these together quite magically and in something that I didn't expect but ended up really enjoying. It was so much fun and our main character is very much of an outcast in which is really interesting to see her become her protagonist in her own right and become a lead in her own right too. The romance was really fun and I love the banterous sort of tense atmosphere surrounding two love interests. It was definitely a lot of fun and I recommend. Then the next video which I rated 4.5 stars is Kingdom of the Wicked. This is a very popular series in which I'm sure you would have seen in the book community at some point. I have only just gotten around to reading this first book but I really enjoyed it. It was based around good and evil and devils and witches and it had a whole other world woven into it. You didn't know who to trust, there was twists and turns at every point, there was a romance within there as well and it really left me eager and wanting to read more from this world. I found the writing style really easily digestible and the pacing of it very very fast. I'm looking forward to continuing on with the series when I eventually get a chance to do so. And the final book in which I rated 4.5 stars and the final book I have to talk about before I move on to my favourite book and my book feature of this month is A Marvelous Light. This was so much fun. It has gay representation, mortal versus magician while being woven into each other. Old London was discussed and discovered in this. It also had an element of mystery in there. It was quite steamy in part, um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, very lighthearted again very easily digestible and fast pacing and I cannot wait to read more from the series and this author going forward. So those are all the books I read and rated this month and now we're moving on to my future book of the month and that is The Simple World. I had such difficulty choosing this one but ultimately this is what brought me out of my slump. It made me stay up late into the night to read it and finish it and I got exactly what I expected and hoped from this book. It was nothing life-changing or so profounding but it was definitely one in which I went into it knowing exactly what I wanted and got what I wanted out of it. As always please do the content warnings for any of the books I share but from what I can remember from this book I want to give contact warnings for cancer and death of a parent. What I loved about this book was the small community setting and how a community can come together really well. I always love a small town romance. The banter between our two love interests was really interesting to read from and the sort of enemies to lovers however I wasn't too much of a fan of how the hero did some sometimes bully the heroine and it was sort of one-sided. I also like that it discussed the mending of parental relationships within this book alongside step parents as that's not something you see often discovered or discussed within these kind of books. But it was very predictable and typical which is not necessarily a bad thing because as mentioned that's exactly what I wanted from this book. Going in you somewhat expect everything that you're going to get out of this book but as I say that's exactly what I wanted so that's why I enjoyed it and it's my book feature of the month. So what could have been better? Fully connect with the main character to begin with. I felt like it was a bit of woe as me to begin with however I do find that with heroines in romance books quite often it's that way. I was happy to look past this because like I say I knew what I was going into. We could have seen more of her mending relationship with her father as I felt like that could have been a really strong line throughout this book. It was kind of pushed aside to get the romance more room to grow in which I felt like the whole situation of her being in the small town with our hero was because of this mending relationship with her father. It kind of happened in parts behind closed doors in which we didn't really get to see that often and I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if we got to see that more and see it develop and grow. Um, but overall this was a really good read hence why it's my feature book of the month and I highly recommend it if you enjoyed any of the concepts I have discussed. So there's all of the books I have to talk you through today. These are all of the books I read in February. I hope you enjoyed this video, got some recommendations and please let me know if you have any for me down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a wonderful day or night. And until next time, friends, bye.